Alright, we're going to quickly paint SpongeBob's arms and legs before we lose track of these delicious colors. And I'm not going to go into quite as much detail. White highlight for the tops of his knees. That's good. For there, any place where the light is going to hit. Alright, that's nice. And now some of those darker tones. Pick those up from, first of all, there's SpongeBob's side. So, those darker tones will go there. Those arms for sure. And then the darker tones that we find over here, I'll pick some of those up and paint them. Make a big deal of these. Alright, it's definitely here. I hope that he's yellow enough. We'll find out in a little while. Alright, now I'm going to create another layer here to paint the inside of his holes. I do this. Uh, a little bit differently every time I attempt it. So this time, what I'm going to do on the SpongeBob here he is. Now that I've finished painting, I'm going to use the eraser, much smaller eraser, much smaller eraser, and I'm going to actually erase. the paint from from inside of these so that I can paint the holes on a separate level which I'm hoping will really give them the feeling of being holes. So I'm literally cutting a hole into this portion and the drawing will show through underneath. Have never done it this way, but I thought it could be kind of cool. So I will literally I'm not painting white, I am erasing, making a hole in here. Some of this. This is all the little bit of extras that I'm gonna erase later. But let me go to the holes. Now the holes, this is the color of Spongebob's holes on his front. The light source is coming in this way. So I want to take these holes and make them a little bit darker less saturated and paint on the inside whoa on the inside of them good now here's SpongeBob paint again point is that this bubble gum going to be reflecting on him a little bit. So I'm going to take that and add a little bit of that that's too much. I'm going to get it thinner and just All right, more thinner, less loading That's good. Alright, now we gotta go for his eyes. There's a 
holes are here, but his eyes should be on top of that. So I may combine these two now. So all I have to do is merge with layer below. And that is to reduce the number of layers. I'll do the same thing with Pat. I'm going to put his eyes down onto his other layers so that I'm not having like a million layers here. Alright, so under SpongeBob I'm going to add a new layer which is going to be called SBIs. Alright, and the SBIs is going to start with white pupils. That's a problem. I'll drop it down. It's just easier for me to paint through everything. It's going to have... Well, let me erase this while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to pick up some of his yellow and I'm going to Brush that on there. Smooth it out a little bit. Alright. Racing a lot. Okay. Alright, now I have to do his pupils, so I'm going to add a new level layer. This is SP pupils. Alright, it's on top of the eyeballs, so I need to zoom in and sample this color. Oh, I already have it here. This B iris. All right. That's base color. All right. Get the eraser. I probably shouldn't bother yet. No, I got to spread it around first. I don't even know why I'm bothering. All right. This. And now I go deeper. All right, deeper, bluer. And then go back to, I take that. bit of palette knife all right that gives it a nice look and then an eraser to clean this up Holy whoops. Looks totally sweet. Really like the way it looks. All right, good. I'll have to put a highlight on top of that later.